Hello and welcome. I'm Vincent McCorin. Demiaki Mwakalele is off today. U.S. President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney are back on the campaign trail fighting for votes Thursday following last night's uh, spirited 90-minute presidential debate. In the first of their three debates, the two presidential contenders uh, squared off face-to-face -face and clashed over the economy, taxes, health care, and the best way to create jobs. Viewers national correspondent Jim Malone has this recap. The Denver debate began with a friendly handshake, but it didn't take long for President Obama and Mitt Romney to engage on the top issue in the campaign, the economy. There's no question in my mind that if the president were to be reelected, you'll continue to see a middle class squeeze with incomes going down and prices going up. I'll get incomes up again. You'll see chronic unemployment. We've had 43 straight months with unemployment above 8%. If I'm president, I will create, help create 12 million new jobs in this country. Mr. Romney aggressively criticized the president's record on jobs, on housing foreclosures, and Wall Street excesses, often putting the president on the defensive in hopes of cutting into his slim lead in the polls. But for his part, Mr. Obama vowed to fight on if he's reelected in November. Four years ago, uh, I said that I'm not a perfect man and I wouldn't be a perfect president. And that's probably a promise that Governor Romney thinks I've kept. But I also promised that I'd fight every single day on behalf of the American people and the middle class and all those who are striving to get in the middle class. I've kept that promise. And if you'll vote for me, uh, then I promise I'll fight just as hard in a second term. The candidates also clashed over health care reform, Mr. Obama's signature achievement. It's meant to extend health care coverage to millions and cut costs in the long term. Mr. Romney called the law a job killer. I just don't know how the president could have come into office facing 23 million people out of work, rising unemployment, an economic crisis at the, at the kitchen table, and spent his energy and passion for two years fighting for Obamacare instead of fighting for jobs for the American people. It has killed jobs. The president pointed out that the inspiration for his health care law came from one passed in Massachusetts while Mr. Romney was governor. The, the irony is that uh, we've seen this model work really well in Massachusetts because uh, Governor Romney did a good thing working with Democrats in the state to set up what is essentially the identical model. And as a consequence, people are covered there. It hasn't destroyed jobs. The two men also clashed on who would be the stronger leader and how to bring Americans together. What's happening in the Middle East? There are developments around the world that are of real concern. And Republicans and Democrats both love America, but we need to have leadership. My philosophy has been, I will take ideas from anybody, Democrat or Republican, as long as they're advancing the cause of making middle class families stronger and giving ladders of opportunity into the middle class. This debate focused only on domestic issues, but the remaining two presidential debates will focus at least in part on foreign policy concerns. Well, joining us now for more analysis on last night's debate and a look ahead in the presidential race is Jim Malone himself. Welcome, Jim. Thanks, Vincent. Now, first, really, uh, the president's performance, so much has been said. What happened last night? What, what are you hearing? I, I think uh, the supporters of the president will be anxious to see if he shows up for the next debate because <laughs> it was missing. I think a lot of them felt he didn't show up last yeah. night. Look, M Mitt Romney was on top of his game. Uh, he is an experienced debater. He's had more recent experience than the president. And if you go back to 2008, Barack Obama was not the strongest debater in that field necessarily. Uh, but clearly there was an energy kind of gap there that the president's going to have to address. And I think it seemed as though he didn't want to go on the attack against Mitt Romney. It seemed that had, was how he was prepped. It's like his strategy. Yeah, and I think that's it. probably going to have to. In fact, I, we just listened to a conference call with David Axelrod, yeah. a key advisor. Mm -hmm. He says, we're not going to let Mitt Romney manhandle the truth. Mm -hmm. So I think there will be some changes. Okay. But realistically, though, uh, how does, does uh, this kind of debate mm -hmm. uh, resonate with the uh, voters, especially the undecided? Does it really count? Well, look, in the short term, it's going to help. 
Mr. Romney. It's going to help Republicans get energized. They were really down. They thought they were trailing. Uh, the president was headed for re-election. It's going to change the race a little bit, make it tighter. Uh, but, you know, historically, debates don't always become pivotal moments. John Kerry won all three of his debates with George uh, W. Bush in 2004. But President Bush still won re-election. So it's not necessarily a game changer to the point where it could change the outcome yet. But I think Democrats are a little worried after that performance last Looking time. ahead, what can we expect? in well, between now and the next I think debate. you're going to see the Democrats more aggressive on Mitt Romney. They're going to bring up those comments like he made in the secret videotape about the 47 percent of people that he cannot win their support. And I think you're going to hear more about some of the negative aspects of the Romney camp. But the Romney campaign now is going to feel revitalized. So they're going to keep on the offensive now against President Obama, especially on the economy. That's still the pivotal issue in this election. But it, could it be that they have also kind of exhausted all their uh, missiles, uh, you know, last night? Is there anything more than Governor Romney probably has in his uh, Secret pocket. Well, I think what, what this does is it just reinvigorates a campaign that was kind of floundering around. So they're going to feel a lot better, and it, it's going to give them a boost. Uh, the question is, can they catch up in some of these key states we talk about where the president is still ahead? And that's really where it's going to bear watching. Mm -hmm. And so next debate, uh, when is that? It's coming up on the 16th. It's a town hall format. That may help the president. The final debate, by the way, will be on foreign policy. You notice there was really nothing on foreign policy last yeah, night, yeah. but they will get into it eventually. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Okay. We'll be back here to tell us more about it. Uh, thanks a lot, Jim. We do appreciate your political insight. Uh, VOA national correspondent Jim Malone joining us today here on In Focus.